Hi family community, how are we doing? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome and thanks for joining me here. I know I was in a rush last night. I was trying to get on my service prayer in the New Year session with my church. So I kind of did a quick thing in case I didn't get to say Happy New Year and I really, really wanted to. So bear with me. As I told you before, I have a gig and I'm juggling family and different little things. So bear with me, bear with me. I had so much on my plate last year and so much came down on me. So um, yeah, I was trying to work through that and then fell sick and so much, so much. But you know what? I got back up and I'm back on the, on the um, what they say? back on the train and I'm headed in the right direction again. So I thank God, thank God that I'm present because so many did not make it to see a new year. Just just a few minutes ago, I was reading this smash on collision occurred on a very famous highway, um, 6 a.m. this morning, five dead, I think two fighting for their lives in the hospital. So, you know, you have to be so aware that God has granted you a new day. Be blessed. Wake up feeling honored. Wake up feeling refreshed. Wake up feeling grateful. And th thank God for the day that you've been allowed to make a difference. To make a change. For a new opportunity. Just thank him for being. Because he has a purpose for you. And you just have to figure out what that purpose is and he will help you through it once you keep him um abreast and once you keep him involved in your life so take god may that be the first step this year take god along with you for the ride and he will surely not lead you wrong but yeah it is sad for that family or or friends that were traveling in that vehicle and now have become fatalities so rest in peace to that group that died this morning may god rest their soul in peace and give their family a sense of peace and comfort at this really really difficult time that's sad it's really sad and for the two fighting for their lives god be with them and help them and just be with them and help them along this journey and grant them healing. May they make it back. But yeah, be be present. Being present is a gift. It's a blessing. So let's be grateful. Let's be grateful for every day that we are blessed to be here. We're blessed to have. It's a gift. It truly is. And God has a purpose for you. We just have to figure out what it is. And you can bring him along for the journey, for the ride in your life. And he will help you figure it all out. Okay? So we talked so much about goals last year. Bear in mind, if all of them didn't come true, do not get depressed about it. Do not get down about it. Just reset and refocus and we will restart. It's a fresh year for you to have new opportunities and try it all over again. If the weight loss thing, if you didn't reach the 20 pounds off and you only reached 10, rejoice, celebrate for that 10 pounds you got off. And work on getting more done this year. Alright? Maybe there's some things that you need to slide back on that you didn't do so well with last year. Right? Take a note of those things that you need to do. And as I saw recently, take a picture of the, the menu or the 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 yeah, the menu that you're preparing or the food that you've presented yourself. Take a picture of it. Because a picture is worth a thousand words, as they say. And it will help teach you what should not be on the plate. It will help remind you that, you know, I don't think this one is so good for me. I, I think I will set that aside and not eat that this time. Or I'll just have a little piece of it and not all of it. Right? It will help to show you what you need to do or not do. So it, it gives you a little picture frame reminder so maybe take a picture of that dish that you've prepared and see what tweaks you might need to make it right because sometimes it's not all about 
that menu item it's the way you prepare it and if it's money maybe you need to cut back on some junk food or you need to come back cut, cut back on some luxury items that you really don't need you just you really don't want you just sorry you really don't need you just want it and that can be the difference in making your goal become the reality and shine through for you or it can be the difference of you breaking the bank and not reaching the goal the success goal that you want to achieve so you know there's so many things that we have um, accounted for and we've written down as goals for last year and we didn't quite make it we didn't make the cut right it didn't happen do not quit on it do not get depressed about it say this is a new year I've gotten a new opportunity to do this right again let me see what I need to do to make a difference and you start over reset and refocus refocus reset and restart right so don't give up don't quit the enemy loves nothing better than to laugh at you and see that you have failed, especially if it's something to benefit yourself or bring praises and glory and honor to God. So do not give up. Take God along for the ride and he will help you through and get you to your destination. Okay, so I want you to have a wonderful year. Set it up in motion. Make God first. Pray. If you have not prayed in the new year, it's not too late. Pray it in. Pray it in. Talk about the things that you want to happen and ask God for help to make it so. Say sorry for the past year. Sorry for the wrongs you've done. You know, and help you to do better this year. What steps can you take? To make it an enriched and blessed year for yourself and those loved ones around you. Let's pay it forward this year. Let's be blessed. Let's stay grateful. Let's keep God in everything that we do. Okay? Because even in the bad, we can see some good. And we can make things better. So let's not dwell only on the negative things. I know negative things can get you down. I've been there. Even when you're sick, if somebody does something really bad and they're not trying to make it right, you know, it can make you feel away. Definitely. We're human. But we have to not dwell on sticking there. Get strong. Stand up. Talk to God about it. And make a way out of no way by making yourselves see the good in things and in people. Because sometimes people might get a little rough with you, but it's not you. It's them. They might be going through some issues and they don't know how to talk it out without getting aggressive. So just take a moment, take a moment, you know, to see What's going on here? What's the big picture? God help me to see what I need to do and what I need to be able to juggle in order to make this right. Okay? It's not all about what people are doing in that moment because sometimes people tend to be more rash and, and, and just get aggressive for no reason or because somebody else did them wrong they you know they have to do you wrong as they say hurt people hurt people so um let's just take a moment to see where everything is coming from before we rashly and immediately evoke harm or wrong or you know um assume that someone's just bad and get them out of here and let, let, let's just take a moment, take a moment, talk to God, you know, pray about it and really think before we, we act rash for this new year because a lot of things is not the way they seem and there's so much, so much that's happening around us right now. We need God. We need God. It's not an option. Not to have him in your life. I don't know how people do it without him. 
to be honest with so much occurring I don't know how people do it have your higher power and talk to him like your best friend make him your best friend this year okay and all those goals that didn't come true I wish them through for you this year okay so do your best to be your best happy new year happy 2024 let's do this let's do this together okay happy new year Mwah.